Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. We have a new knot contest and we have a new winner of the ultimate knot for both mono and fluoro going to a hook or a swivel. So last time we did it, it was the clinch knot versus the uni knot and the clinch knot was actually the surprise winner. This time, due to popular demand, it was the clinch knot versus the modified clinch versus the tri-lean knot. These are all different variations of the clinch knot and so we do have a new winner. So I'll do a little spoiler alert. alert. I did a bunch of tests and over four different tests, a bunch of line down here. The clinch knot was not the winner. And just so you can see the, uh, how these knots are, they're all very similar, but they have some, some slight differences and those differences do make, make an impact. So normal clinch knot, right? Go through the hook. We're just gonna do it real quick so you can see what it is. So if you're using the clinch knot, any version of the clinch knot or the uni knot, you're gonna to wanna to see this video. So clinch knot, you go through the hook, and then you go around the main line five times. This is how I did it. You can obviously go more, especially for braid, you wanna do more. And then at the end of it, you go through this top little loop, right next to the hook, go through that. That's the clinch knot, right? Tighten it down, that's the clinch knot. The modified clinch is exactly what we just did but now you take the tag in through this loop that we just created. So that's the modified clinch. So the tri-lean knot is very similar to the clinch, except in the first part, you go through the hook eye twice, and then you tie the clinch knot. So we go through the hook eye twice, open that up, keep it open, do the you know five wraps around, all right? We're not gonna bother doing all five. And then at the end, you go through this loop and the the little the, the loop that we would have had otherwise and they'll do that tight so those are the three knots they're very similar but the results are actually different so we're going to go kick over to the computer i'm going to show you without my chicken scratch you're going to see the exact breaking points and we're going to analyze it uh it's also uh, i also did half of the breaks i did without when i cinched it down i did not use saliva in the other half i did use saliva and so there's some interesting results there whether you should or should not use saliva when cinching down your knots. So let's go back to the computer and I'll show you the details and walk you through the final winner. All right, time to check out the results. Here it is, I'll walk you through what the findings were and we'll talk about the three knots, right? The clinch versus the improved clinch versus the tri -lean. Also the wet versus dry, which was actually very surprising. And so first let's talk about the, the, the actual knots themselves. So what we have here is this side over here on the left, this is the mono. And this is 15 pound Andy, which is 0.4 millimeters in diameter. And then the floor is over here on the right. Same diameter, we're now dealing with uh, with 20 pound vanish though. They have the same diameter. And, uh, and what I did is for you know, each knot, right? Clinch knot, improved clinch, tri lean. And then I marked the highest in green and then the lowest in this little, in this kind of light red. And then the ultimate winner down here in the bottom. And so in both cases for both mono and fluoro, the actual tri lean knot won. And this is actually what I was expecting because it goes around the hook eye twice. It's gonna have more, more surface area friction that's continuous. And so not surprising that that was the, the ultimate finding. So for anybody tying the clinch knot or the improved clinch, recommend switching over to tri lean, whether you're using mono or fluoro, it was uh, pretty sizable. So on, on with mono, again, this is a small sample size. Obviously, you know, results can vary. But, but what I found is that, at least in this one, it was a 10% increase if I switch from clinch to tri -lean, and then 3% from improved clinch to tri -lean. And then on fluoro, the actual normal clinch knot actually beat the improved clinch, which was a surprise. But either way, it was, it was pretty close, right? So that's obviously within margin of error, I'm sure. But going from clinch to tri -lean, 6% and then 10%. So it seems like that at least these percentages are probably you know pretty close. On both cases, I would say like five to 10% improvement when going from clinch or improved clinch up to tri -lean. So I recommend doing that and it just takes a second. And now for the dry versus wet. So this was interesting and I was expecting the, the wet to win handily. If this is the clinch knot, it has a lot of friction on the lines. You have to move a lot of line uh, under tension. There's a lot of movement, so there's a lot of room for, for issues. At least I thought there'd be a lot of room for issues in lines. But what was interesting for mono, so this is the Andy mono, uh, the, the actual dry won handily. Um, so in, in two cases at least, and then on the clinch knot, uh, the, the wet just barely beat it. But really shocking, right? I was not expecting that. So there is, uh, there definitely, definitely is not the need to put saliva on our lines as I thought there was. 
Um, but then over here on the fluoro, the wet actually won in all three cases. And for this line, this line is a little bit old, and so I actually could feel uh, when I was cinching down the line when it, with it dry, I could actually feel it, you know, catching, and, and it was really tough to cinch down. Whereas with this mono, with this this 15 pound Andy, the exterior was very smooth, and it actually it, it wasn't as resistant as as this fluoro. So I think it could be based on feel. Right when you're cinching down that line, if you feel it kind of sticking that's when you should definitely use some saliva. But if it's cinching down by itself, right, if, if it's just sliding in pretty good, pretty smoothly, then at least per this test and a couple earlier ones I did before, it seems like the argument would be to go to dry. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. I, I had a lot of requests for, for testing out these knots. So I thought let's just go ahead and do all encompassing, all variants of this clinch knot. Uh, for this, it looked like the trilene one. I'll say pretty handily for both lines. I'll do the same thing for braid. Braid is just so different. I'll do it in a, in a totally separate test. But my belief is that the trend is going to win there. But either way, I will still do it just to know by how much, uh, what the margin is uh, from one to the other. So thank you so much for your time watching this video. If you have any questions at all about this contest or how to improve this contest, please let us know. We always want to make these as accurate as possible. Love to hear your feedback and we'll be happy to help address any questions you have. So thanks again. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.